Why move to Oklahoma? I mean, it's Oklahoma. It's certainly not on anybody's short list and it definitely wasn't on my short list. But once I came here and experienced the state, game changer. <laughs> I am here to tell you why we chose Oklahoma. I mean, it's a hidden gem, okay? You just gotta watch. Hey everybody, Stacey Hesser here, your favorite realtor in all of Oklahoma, and I'm here to talk to you guys about why I moved to Oklahoma. I mean, like I said, it's certainly not on anybody's short list, but I am here to tell you that this place was truly a game changer for my husband and I. Just to give you a little bit of background on us, both of us are originally from Alaska. That's right. Ooh, wow, so pretty. Oh my God. Check that out. Ooh, Kodiak. Whoa. Due to his work, we've been traveling a lot of the United States and seeing a lot of the United States. Strangely though, Oklahoma kept bringing us back. There were several jobs and projects that my husband kept on getting hired on for to be the superintendent and it just kept bringing us back to the state. It wasn't love at first sight. I mean, you know, it's Oklahoma after all. But once we were here and we really started to get into the Oklahoma lifestyle, things really started to change for us. I don't know. I fell in love with Oklahoma so much that I decided to sell the state, right? Because I'm a realtor and that's essentially what I do here. So on a scale of, you know, top ranking states, one being the most expensive, 50 being the least expensive, Oklahoma consistently rates in that bottom 40 or the lower 20%, which is a good thing for cost of living. I know nobody ever wants to be down at the bottom, but for cost of living, it's a very good thing. It really has afforded us a different life and we've really been able to save up for retirement and enjoy a different lifestyle than we would in some other large metropolitan area. So for that reason alone, I feel like Oklahoma really is a hidden gem. But there's so many other reasons why we really fell in love with this state. We've been able to do things like travel. We've been able to get a side-by-side, -side, which Oklahoma has some awesome places to go riding. If you're not into side-by-sides, holy cow, you need to be. It's so much fun. <laughs> he is down in there, holy cow. Oklahoma also appeals a lot to the outdoor lifestyle just as a whole. Carl and I really shoot a lot. So Oklahoma is like one of the best shooting states in the, really in the world. But there's, there's actually some champions that have been born out of Oklahoma. I don't know, maybe there's something in the water. If you're into the outdoor lifestyle, there's over 200 lakes in this state, which you would never think of Oklahoma as a boating state, but it's totally a boating state. There's bass fishermen here like there is no tomorrow. Just in my county alone, we have five lakes. One of them is Lake Murray, which is a state park. It's actually Oklahoma's first state park, and it is amazing. Check out my video. You're not gonna want to miss it. Other things that we do in our outdoor lifestyle, of course, are shooting. We could shoot competitively, and we also are known to, you know, pull out a shotgun or a pistol from time to time just to have some fun. Boating and fishing though are probably some of the biggest things that were a huge surprise to me being here in this state. The biggest hidden gem of all is that Oklahomans are some of the best people I've encountered. <laughs> <laughs> don't let that go to their heads though. And more importantly, if you're moving to Oklahoma, I don't want you to be doing anything to change what kind of good juju we got going on here. People still like wave at you when you're driving, which pff, I mean, I've gotten other kinds of waves, especially in Alaska. Alaskan drivers, they're just angry. They're angry people. But here you still get waved at. And even if you did something wrong, I mean, people will still be like, hey, that's okay. Which I'm like, oh my God, please just don't look at me. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But they're just all, no, you're good, thanks. You have a good day, have a good day. They may give you a bless your heart. It's the kindest way to say that you're an idiot that I know possible. So I'll be blessed your heart at all day long versus somebody that's just yelling at me and telling me how stupid I am. <laughs> I just gotta be honest. One of the best hidden secrets about Oklahoma is obviously really not a secret, but we're centrally located. But 
What people don't consider about being centrally located is that you have a great launch pad to be able to go to other places. So if you're a traveler and you wanna drive, you wanna RV, totally a great launching pad. I-35 runs north-south and I-40 runs east-west. So you're connected basically to the whole entire interstate system without much hassle. We also have access to two major airports, depending on where you are in the, in the state, but Oklahoma City is a great place to uh, fly in and out of domestically and if you need to go international you've got Dallas Fort Worth and if you're I mean you can fly international out of Oklahoma but your your chances are you're gonna be flying down to Dallas so <laughs> sometimes it's just easier to go to Dallas and fly out of Dallas um, but between just between the two airports though Oklahoma City is by far better sorry Texas not really <laughs> And maybe if flying and driving aren't your jam, we actually have Amtrak that comes through here too. So there's several Amtrak stations that come through Oklahoma. So maybe if you wanna pick up a train ride, you can totally do that. What are some things that you could do with all of that extra money? I don't know, maybe you can save up for early retirement. Maybe you can help your kids through college. Maybe you can actually make a savings account for yourself so you have a great emergency fund in case something comes up. But these are all totally things that really I can now afford because of living here. So it really was a game changer for us finding this little hidden gem in America. Again, I know Oklahoma's not on people's short list, but it really was just a life-changing experience to be here and really embrace what the state has to offer. But that's what I got for you about why move to Oklahoma. Like I said, I know it's not on many people's short list or even a place that people would consider unless you have family here, you're from here, or you're moving here for employment. But it really should be on everybody's short list, I think. If you're looking for a great place to live, if you're into the outdoor lifestyle, and if you're just looking for a place that gives you some freedom of choice because you're not locked down with, you know, some house payment that's three or 400,000. Wait, you're not gonna have a house payment at three or four. Because you don't want a house payment that's three or $4,000 a month. If you wanna know more about Oklahoma, maybe you're looking into moving to Oklahoma or you're already living here and you may have a house to sell, I would love to have a conversation with you. All my information is in the details below. And if you liked this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. But if this video gave you some great value, man, totally hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out content all the time about Oklahoma, why I love here, living here, my life here, all kinds of good stuff. And because I'm a realtor, obviously I'm gonna be talking about some real estate here. So I'd love to educate you on that, but hit that subscribe button, it's totally free. That's all I got for you today, though. Until the next time. Bye.